Okay, so I recently saw this photo for the first time. If it hadn't said in the title of this video, would you have known which planet this was? It's Venus, and I had never seen the planet look like this before. This got me thinking about Venus, what it really looks like, and why it looks so different in this image. Okay, before we get into it, I just want to say that I really love this image. It highlights the cloudy, stormy nature of a planet often called Earth's sister. While the two planets are roughly the same size and mass, more or less, their atmosphere and conditions on the surface are very different. Earth is, on the whole, a pleasant place to live. We can breathe and the temperature is tolerable almost everywhere. Both are good things for us as a species. Venus, on the other hand, has neither of those things. It is so hot that you would melt almost instantly. And the atmosphere is so thick and oppressive that you can't breathe it at all. And the pressure on the surface is so high that it would literally crush you. Oh, and the clouds are made of sulfuric acid, meaning that it rains sulfuric acid. And it's so hot that the rain then evaporates back up in an eternal toxic cloud. So that's also not great for us. That said, it's still pretty, especially here. However, it's also not how most of us would imagine Venus if we were asked to. The same for this image. This blue planet is not the Earth. It's actually Venus again. But we'll come back to that one in a minute. If we could fly out into space and look at Venus with our own eyes, it wouldn't look like either of these pictures. It would really look like a whitish, largely featureless orb. Perfectly pleasant to look at, but not the most interesting thing. This is what Venus looks like in visible light, the part of the spectrum that our eyes can see. The thing is, we can only see a small fraction of the light that's given off by objects in the universe, and it's often helpful to use other types of light to study interesting things. This is like how sometimes we use infrared or heat cameras to look at hot things around us. Using a different type of light can teach us something different that our eyes can't, like where heat escapes your house or something like that. You can see it with an infrared camera, but a regular camera wouldn't do the trick. While I was researching this video and looking for an image that represented well what Venus would look like to our eyes, I found this awesome video about it from a channel called GeoBicker. Sorry if I'm butchering that name. I'd really recommend checking the video out though. I especially enjoyed the sections talking about the processing of these images, how scientists go from data to the pretty images. And for example, I learned about the differences between this featureless Venus and this slightly less featureless Venus and why I should think about them differently. Link in the description to that video if you want to check it out. In the case of Venus, it has a really, really thick atmosphere. We can't see through that atmosphere with visible light. We can just see the very tops of white cirrus clouds high in that atmosphere. That is where infrared light comes in. You see, this image was taken by the Akatsuki spacecraft, a Japanese probe that imaged the planet using infrared cameras. Infrared light is better than visible light at penetrating dense clouds and showing more of the structure beneath. While in this case it doesn't get all the way to the surface, we can see clouds deeper in Venus's atmosphere using IR light, and it lets us see the vortices and curling wisps of clouds and brutal storms below the bright white exterior. This is then coloured so that we can see it with our eyes, because we can't see infrared light. Of course, this also means that the colours here aren't really true to life, but were chosen to look good and to emphasise certain features of those clouds. I talked more about colouring space images in this video about why Jupiter is or isn't blue, so check that one out if you'd like some more details about this bit. I love how dramatic this picture of Venus is, how unforgiving but still magnificent it is, and how powerful our closely neighbouring planet looks here. So, to answer the main question we started with, we can say that to our eyes, Venus definitely doesn't look like this. But if you had heat vision and could see infrared light, then this is pretty similar to what you'd see, albeit the colours might be a little bit different. This other image I showed you, of Venus looking particularly blue and Earth-like, does a similar thing but in a different way. It was produced by the Mariner 10 mission, which mainly visited Mercury, but made a trip past Venus in the 1970s. This particular image was made using ultraviolet light. While infrared light carries less energy than the visible light we can see, UV light carries more energy than both IR and visible light, and is again undetectable by human eyes. Similar to the IR light used by Akatsuki, 
The UV light Mariner 10 collected shows us more of the structure and weather patterns of Venus than visible light can. It was then translated into visible colors so that we could enjoy it. And here blue was chosen as the main color. This might be because blue is at the highest energy end of the visible light spectrum. So it could also be to allude to the fact that the image was made using high energy UV light. But I can't find anything to officially confirm that. It might have just been an artistic choice. But if you do know more than me about this, then please enlighten me in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Mariner 10 did also have the capability to take visible light images. And in those, we get to see the more featureless off-white planet that we would actually see with our eyes. Excellent stuff from the old probe. Venus has been visited a few more times since then, but it's still not too well studied and imaged. This is partly because it's so inhospitable that landing on it is so hard, and anything that does is destroyed very quickly. Hopefully, we'll go back soon. But until then, we have to make do with what we've got and use telescopes here on Earth. We can't even use our fancy space telescopes like JWST to image Venus because the planet is always too close to the sun. If JWST pointed itself in that direction, it would all be too bright and the telescope's sensitive detectors would be overwhelmed, burnt out, and it would break the telescope. So we can't do that. Similar for the Hubble Space Telescope, although it has peaked a look once or twice when conditions were favorable and it could do so without pointing too close to the sun. This one in particular is a UV image, and again, false color has been added to enhance the cloud features. Shoot me any questions or comments you have down below, and thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, stay safety. I'll see you soon. Bye!